Hey guys, it's Deuce back again with another quick fire music tech tip video for you. Now today we're going to be looking at the advanced tools options within Logic Pro X and the functions that this unlocks. So let's get started. Now the first thing you're going to notice about the screen is that you've got these icons here which represent the different types of project you can create. Now um, that's going to change once we switch on the advanced tools. We're going to go right ahead and we're going to choose recording using a microphone or line input. We'll create there. Okay. Now on the sides, you'll notice that we've got these brown wooden borders on both the left and right hand sides. That also indicates that the advanced tools aren't switched on. Now, how do we switch on the advanced tools? This is what you do. Click on Logic Pro X up in the menu bar. Go to preferences advanced tools. Now here we choose show advanced tools and at the bottom you select enable all. Okay. Now, once it refreshes, you'll see it come out from here. You'll see that the brown borders have gone, the wooden um, borders have gone. And if we were to go to file new, let's see what happens this time. And we close here. Uh, don't save and now the options here have changed the icons have gone and you've got a lot more flexibility in the options that you have in terms of creating a new project let's go ahead and hit create now um, if I was to right click on this track right here look at all these functions that we've got okay now I'm just gonna go back and switch off the advanced tools and let's see what we've got then. Let's disable all. Okay, let it refresh. And take that off as well. Okay, now right click. All I've got is add audio file. So all of those other options we had before, they're all gone now. Here's a few more things that you'll be missing out on. If you were to create a brand new a software instrument here, create. Now this time I'm going to load up an EXS24 sampler. I really like using this to create my own samples and map them across the keyboard. For those of you who've used this before, you'd be expecting to see the edit function right here, but it's not there. So you can't actually create your own sample uh, instruments um, when you're in this mode. However, if you were to go back up to preferences, advanced tools, switch it all back on, enable all, that's all good. Now, if we were to go to our EXS24, here we go, here's the edit button, click on that, and here we have it. We can map our samples and create new sampler instruments and load up existing ones. Now for a few more important functions that you may well be missing out on. And that's in the audio edit section. Now I've double clicked on the, the audio file and right here we've got um, the, the waveform being displayed. However, you can't do anything at all with this piece of audio. You can't reverse, you can't change gain, you can't normalize. All of the great um, tools that you'll find within the sample edit window, they're not there. So let's go back to preferences, advanced tools, switch on the show advanced tools, enable all, wait for it. Okay. And let's come out from here. And now here we go, file. Now track and file weren't there before. If I was to maybe highlight this section right here, play that back. Now play it back here. Okay. Now if I went to functions, here we go. Normalize everything that you might want to use within the sample editor. It's all there for you. Okay, so those are just some of the key functions that might be switched off if the advanced tools option isn't selected. So I encourage you to, to have that switched on because that's gonna definitely speed up your workflow. So that's it. If you like the video, leave a comment, subscribe because there's gonna be more 
quick fire music tech tips coming soon. Peace.